notice the referee is kind of keeping them far away from each other. I think it's very intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> Premature fighting. <laughs> yes, yeah. very likely event here. And we're ready to start, ladies and gentlemen. I think this will be a very exciting bout. Here they go. Look at that. It's, it's a Debbie Coker. Right to the takedown. They go right horse. away. Hoist. Hoist is up. And now he's trying to put the person between his guard. He's got, there goes that uh, kick to the back right on the. Going the right back. into the kidney there. Exactly. Yeah. Ken's got his right leg up, trying to prevent Hoist from getting his left leg over. And now Hoist has him in what appears to be the guard position. Hoist takes the mount. And that's exactly where Hoist wants to be. Now what Hoist is probably going to try to do is get his right leg, his left leg over Ken's. Ken doesn't have to do that if he has his weight above like that. Right, now yeah. what he's trying to do, what I think Ken is trying to do is keep, keep hey, Hoist at watch, pace. Watch that leg. Ken, Ken's going for that leg again. Same thing he did with his previous opponent. And Hoist, watch this, there goes Hoist. He looks like he's going for the back. There's the tap. There's the tap. Hoist actually had him in a choke from the back, and he tapped. He tapped four times. Bill, that was a that was I a did tap. Did not see the tap. I saw it four times. And from the angle that we were at, I didn't get to I see what sort of hold he had ball. on him, but that didn't last long. There's, that's it. That's it. What happened? I don't know. What, hap what happened was from the back, I saw uh, Ken tap four times. Hoist had him on a cross side mount and had the arm underneath his neck. And I couldn't see it from the back too well, but he but basically choked him out, Bill. Oh, yeah, wow. That's fantastic. It's, it, it's so hard to see sometimes, but that's the power of jujitsu. There's some uh, good sportsmanship going uh, on here. The shaking wonderful. hands and yes. each other that's great. That's wonderful. Referee didn't see it happen so fast. Just I amazing. couldn't believe it. I couldn't. I thought well, here we go again. Much better. We'll there's there's happened. the replay. Watch Ken's left hand. There's Hoist left. There's two, there's three, and I thought four. That's it. That's and five. Five. five times. And Hoist has his left hand over um, Ken's neck, and that's why he was uh, he was tapping. And there's another view of it. And that is a good back choke. One of the fundamental strategies of Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I see the hand coming yeah. around. Yes, you bet. The there, there, is an there it is. Choke out. Yes. Very stealthy. Very stealthy. Japanese, it's Hadaka Jimmy. From here, the, the, hand, the uh, throat is right in the bend of the wrist, and the strong right in here. Very, very, very good technique. Well, very I tell you, it's not very glamorous, but it sure is extremely effective. Ken, Ken came very close to getting Hoist in a uh, almost a. a, a what you got me to choke all. I was trying to go for a leg. And I've got to guard my neck. Anyone, anyone for your neck? Yeah. So, and then you just couldn't breathe? Yeah. So, uh, what, was, uh, what was your thinking? What was your thinking going in? Uh, was you know how tough the Gracies are. Oh, yeah. I give them all the credit in the world. Uh, it's just one of those things, you know, you gotta... So I'm not used to this kind of stuff. Yeah. And I'll, I'll tell you, Ken, he started off the last match really slow against Art, the boxer. When he shot in, did that take you by surprise? No, I knew he was gonna try and shoot. Uh, he's got good defense on the ground. I couldn't sit back and take a leg. So I kind of, I was trying to work. I was thinking too much about getting a leg, not enough about worrying about my neck. It looked like you did have supremacy early on and then suddenly it reversed like yeah. lightning. So that's the way submission is. Have you ever fought someone jujitsu before? No, no, first time. How would you prepare differently in retrospect? Uh, I think next time uh, I would initiate. I'd shoot in, I'd take him down. I'd get to the side of him, maybe throw him or something. He picked his head up, and he was screaming to the referee something. What was he saying? Uh, I tapped Matt, and referee didn't see it. So he said, referee's gonna let it go. But uh, I tapped Matt, I'm not gonna lie. Otherwise, referee would've let it go. And uh, he let go of his hold already. So it wouldn't have been fair for me to say, keep going. Yeah. He'd already let go of the hold. Tell you, Ken, you can count on one hand how many people would, would be get, able to get in the ring like that and be able to talk to me rationally after. What is it about your demeanor where you can turn it on and off like this? I don't know. I, was, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I just, when I get in the ring, it's kind of everything changes. You, you also mentioned to me uh, during the press conference you'd hope to meet him in the finals. Yes. Do you believe that you're the second best person here? Um, I'm the third best person here today. Okay. John Milius is over there, big time movie producer, thinks you got an amazing potential. It'll be a lot safer. <laughs> I like fighting. 
You gonna be back in Japan next month? Yeah, hopefully I wanna do this again. I'll be a little more prepared for it next time, you know. Hopefully I can, I'll give him a better fight, you know. I'm sorry that, uh, that I didn't give him a good enough fight, you know. But that happens. I had a pretty, uh, the first one I was banged up pretty good, so. I had to come in again, but that's what this is all about. Ken, you know what? It's time to relax and have a good time and watch the finals. Thank, Thank you, you very much. It's been a pleasure. Now we're going to go back to the booth where the big guys are, all the champions.